Hello reception. Welcome to our next phonics session. Okay, we're going to be learning another new digraph today. And it's this one. Okay, now we have two examples on here. The reason being when we make this sound, one of them is a short sound and one of them is a slightly longer sound. Okay, and if you look at the clown's mouth here, he's making the sound. So you can't actually see the tongue. It's a short sound. This clown here, it's like he's poking his tongue out. Okay, so we either make the this or thumb. So it's a short sound or a longer sound. That's the action that we use. Okay, well done. This thumb. You can, might be able to hear the difference. This thumb. Okay, one we hold on for slightly longer. They look exactly the same. They sound the same. We just hold one on a little bit longer than the other one. Okay, so we will practice that one. That's the sound that it makes. So the letters that we use are a T and a H for both of them, okay? And it makes our digraph, so our one sound represented by two letters, okay? Let's see if we can have a practice at writing that with our magic pen. Here we go. Down the tower and across the tower. Down the head to the hooves and over his back. Brilliant. Let's try that again on our hand this time. Ready? Down the tower and across the tower. Down the head to the hooves, over his back. Well done. Let's try it on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. You ready? Down the tower and across the tower. Down the head to the hooves and over his back. Brilliant. Pause the video and have, an, a couple of, have another couple of tries. Well done. Mrs Hamilton got a bit tongue tied there, didn't she? Okay. So we're going to have a practice of writing some words using the sound. Okay. So you would need to draw your phoneme frame and we need three boxes. So we draw our rectangle first of all. There it is. And we separate it into three boxes by drawing our two lines down. Okay, so get your phoneme frame ready. Now, we have two groups. If you had an email from me to say that you're in the challenge group, I would like you to try the challenge questions. Okay. If you've tried the normal ones and you found them too easy, you can always have a go at the challenge ones as well. All right. If you didn't have an email from me, stick to the normal words. OK, so the normal word that we're going to be using, the first word for group one is the word dog. OK, so I would like you to write the word dog into your phone in frame. Challenge group, you're going to write the word that. That. Pause the video and have a try. Okay, let's check the first group. So we have dog. D. O. G. D. O. G. Dog. Brilliant, well done. Let's change it round. And I'm going to draw my phoneme frame on the back, ready for our challenge group. Now, challenge group, you had the word that. So we know the sound is made up of two letters in one box because it's our digraph to make one sound. So we have our T and our H. At. Ah, we can hear next. And what's the last sound? That. T. Well done. 
at that. Brilliant work, well done. Okay, I'm going to get my phoning frames ready. So group one, you are going to write the word man, man. Have a go for me. Challenge group, you are going to write the word them, them. Okay, group one, man, challenge group, them. Have a go. Okay, are we ready? Excellent. Group one, let's do your word first. So we were looking at the word man. Mm, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm. Man. Well done. Turn it around. Let's have a go at the challenge group. You had the word them. So again, we have our digraph at the beginning. Two letters together to make our one sound, our T and our H. Them. E. Eh. Mm. M. Them. Brilliant. Well done. You're working really well. Two more words for each group. Okay, group one, your word is chop. Chop. Have a go at that sound for me. Chop. And challenge group, your word is thick. Thick. Okay, are we all ready? Let's have a look. So group one, we have the word chop. So we have our ch sound, our digraph, which is made up of our C and our H sound. Chop, oh, in the middle, at the end. Ch, op, chop. Brilliant, well done. So we had a digraph in there to make it a little bit more of a challenge for you. Okay, challenge group. How did you do with the word thick? So again, we have our digraph, T, H at the beginning, thick. We can hear the I sound. K. Mm, now this is a tricky one because it could be this one. It could be this one, or it could be This one, hmm, thick. What one do you think? This one here. Well done if you managed to guess that one correctly. Fant fabulous work. Okay, let's get ready for the last word. Okay, group one, your word is bash. Bash. Have a go at writing that word for me. Bash. Okay. And challenge group. Your word is shock. Shock. Use a clue from the word before. Thick. That might help you. Shock. Okay. Are you ready? So, group one, you had the word bash. B at the beginning. Bash. Ah. We can hear that ah sound here, can't we? Bash. Shh. So that's our S and H digraph. So this time the digraph is at the end of the word rather than at the beginning, like we did with chop. B, ah, sh. Bash. Well done. Okay, challenge group, you had the word shock. So you might be able to use a clue from group one's word, bash. Yep, we have the SH digraph at the beginning for you, shock. Can you hear the O sound in the middle? K. Mm. Now it could be either of these options again. Which one do you think it is? Well done, it's this one. Same digraph at the end as we had in thick. 
Brilliant work, well done. Give yourself two claps. Amazing effort. So we're just going to finish by reading some questions. And I need you to tell me if you think the answer is yes or if the answer is no. Okay, here we go. K -a -n can a hen shop? Can a hen shop? Okay, let's try the next one. Ready? Can can a chip chip tricky word b thick thick can a chip be thick? Hmm, what do we think about that one? It can, can't it? You can have fries, which are really thin chips, or you can have really chunky fries. So it can be thick as well. Excellent, well done. Okay, two more questions, here we go. Can, can a fish, fish, quack, quack. Can a fish quack? No. What does go quack? Oh, a duck. Well done. Okay, last question. Here we go. K -a -n can a ch -i -k -e -n chicken, that's tricky that one, B -a -z, buzz. Can a chicken buzz? Well done, lovely reading. Fantastic phonics session today. Well done, we've done a lot of work in that session. Excellent work. I will see you again for another phonics session tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>